This is Alan with Bedrock Quartz. We're going to show you part two of our templating process. We're going to be processing uh, the AutoCAD drawing now. I wanted to show you what we start out with that comes from the ProLiner. And our phase now is to take and uh, modify this and put on any of the overhangs that we need and basically pretty it up. So we'll have Dave now, uh, he'll begin doing the AutoCAD processing on that and get it cleaned up. So our typical overhangs that we put on these jobs are about an inch and a half anywhere that there's a drawer front and if we have a, on the side of a cabinet we'll put an inch so uh, Dave is going through right now and adding on those various overhangs basically translating it into a finished drawing that will represent the exact shape that we're going to make the countertop So what we have is the outer lines will represent the countertop and the inner lines represent the cabinets and uh, those other spaces. All right, our drawing now is mostly complete and what's represented here, the, the red lines represent the finished area and then we change the cabinet lines to a green color that way it just helps us identify what it is that we're looking at on the drawing. So up there at the top, we've got um, where FSR stands for freestanding range. Over there in the corner is the corner sink area. And we'll show where the dishwasher is. So, And then we're going to proceed with some additional marking up so that we can know exactly what's going on with it. And the next stage of what we do is we dimension all the drawings. Want to know how big they are also helps us double check make sure if we've missed something if we see something in the drawing where the measurements don't quite add up it helps us catch it also show dimensions for how big the overhangs are again one inch there on the end of an island we've got a 12 inch overhang there on the island let just zoom out a little bit and show me those corbels so here are those uh, little rectangles near the bottom represent the corbels and we just want to make sure that the countertop actually comes out and covers over those corbels. Our drawing is now finished and this is the kitchen we started with so we have an island there and then beyond the island in the background is the corner sink to the right of that is the stove cabinet and then here we have the drawing that represents the kitchen that we've just templated so this is a very accurate template. The ProLiner that we use to create this template is accurate uh, to within about a 32nd of an inch or 30 thousandths, depending on how you want to measure it, but very accurate. And when all said and done, when we take this out to our shop and cut it up, we'll be able to put this countertop in and it'll fit just the way it should.